how's it how's it going flare fishing fam as you can tell i've got my mystery tackle box pro the mtv pro for this is for the month of april okay this is what they're gonna send you for the month of april and uh you know what i'm gonna mix it up. i've done this before but i'm gonna mix it up a little bit generally i open this show you what's inside tie on some of the baits and go catch some fish but I'm feeling extra generous, and a Mystery Tackle Box is feeling extra generous. And uh, and we partnered up on this video, so huge thanks to those guys. And uh, instead of opening this and fishing with the baits, I'm going to open it, show you what's inside, and then I'm going to give it away to one of you guys watching. And all you got to do, it's really easy. You got to drop a comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe. And that's basically it. And, uh, and after you see what's inside this, go comment, go like, go subscribe, and uh, I'll send this to one of you guys. But I am going fishing today. I am fishing a pond. Never been to. As you can tell, I'm in the middle of a neighborhood. We're going to try some neighborhood urban pond fishing. Uh, but again, instead of using these baits, I'm going to give them to you guys. You know, you guys know I've got tons of baits, and I always love to give back to you guys. So that's why I'm not going to be using these baits this month. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get what get into what is inside. And uh, and if you guys like Mystery Tackle Bus, you want to try it out for the very first time for yourself, make sure you use code Guggen and get 10 bucks off your very first box i will link it down below click the link sign up save 10 bucks if you're if you're a first time member and uh and that's basically the spiel today but we're gonna get right into it. this is what you could win all you gotta do is drop a comment really comment at anything it doesn't even matter uh so first bait we got here exo swim four and so this is a nice little ribbed paddle tail swim bait you could throw this on you know like an ewg weighted belly hook you could throw on the back of a chatter bait back of a spinner bait back of a swim jig um you could throw on an underspin lots of things i've actually actually i did go fishing with this uh a couple months ago actually i think it was like last month it's really really good bait so that's that's bait number one then you get a spinner bait you guys know chatter bait spinner baits those work so well during this time of year in the spring so you got the swim bait with the spinner bait you could tie these in together you know put it as a trailer if you wanted to then we've got stickies. This is a trailer hook. Now this trailer hook is for your spinner bait. Every time I'm throwing a spinner bait, I throw a trailer hook. Chatter baits, not all the time, uh, because I usually throw those around grass, but you will never see me throw a spinner bait without a trailer hook. That's, it's just, it's important. And these, these are actually really cool. These are uh, Owl's Goldfish Lure Co. These are the hook bonnets. If you guys don't know how these work, basically you take these things out and these snap onto treble hooks, like a jerk bait or any type of crank bait, and it keeps them from uh, from tangling. As you can see, you can see right there exactly what it does. I've actually used these before. They're great for making sure your baits don't get tangled. You put these on your crank baits and then you can just take your crank bait out. You know, you guys have seen the jumbled mess before. That solves that problem, which is cool. That's really cool to see something like that come through. Again, something new. Maybe you guys don't even know what those are. You sign up for Mystery Tackle Box and they send you things that you've never seen. Then, big bite baits. Got a little worm here. Perfect for your shaky head and drop shot fishing. Bed fishing in particular. Just like a little, little deal here. You know, it's springtime. Fish are going on beds. Not all the time will they eat a big bait. Sometimes they want something more finesse. That is that bait right there. Hi. Right. Oh, well, someone with their dogs just came by. Anyways, next bait, great, great, uh, this is a great pre-spawn bait. You know, before those fish are on beds, big, giant square bill. Looks just like a bluegill. And, uh, and what bass hate more than anything is bluegills around their beds and around the spawn. Just anytime they're feeding up, looks like a big perch, a big bluegill, big brim. Big, loud rattle. It's, I mean, it's a big bait. You can see compared to my hand. I mean, this is, this is going after those females. Those females that move up to spawn, that's what you're targeting with that big bait right there. We're not done, folks. We got two more baits. Then we've got the Lucky John Chunk Tail. Nice little grub. Again, throw this on the back of, a, of the spinner bait, back of a swim jig, anything like that. Just a nice little finesse presentation. And then my favorite. I saved it for last. This is a topwater prop bait. Now, you guys have probably never really seen me throw this. Um, I throw it one time a year. Literally, like for like two to three weeks out of the entire year, I throw this thing, and it's around the spawn. For some reason, if I would stop dropping everything, for some reason, it works super well. Like, it's not that you see a bedding fish and throw it over the top, but early morning when you know those fish are kind of moved up and, and spawning, for some reason, this thing, this thing absolutely kills it. And then Dibbles Digest and a sticker right there. And that's it. I don't want to take any more time to do this, but this this box could be yours. Drop a comment down below, like this video, and make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, and I'll pick somebody and uh, and send it right to your right to your house. But anyways, I'm going to shut up. I've got a few different baits. I've got a sink. I've got a jig. I've got a crank bait. Uh, what else I got? i got a chatter bait on. And uh, I'm going to try out this little pond right behind me and see if we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. All right, here we go, folks. I got three rods. I'm going to bring three. I've got some more in the truck that I may end up coming back for, but we got a jig, we got a chatter bait, and we've got a Sanko. All green pumpkin colored. You know, this time of year, they hate the bluegills, and the green pumpkin resembles a bluegill. There's actually two ponds here, and a subscriber let me, let me know about the, let me know about these. 
we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Okay, I made a good call on the green pumpkin because this water is like crystal clear. Wow, this is a cool little pond. I've never actually seen this guy. We're gonna go over here. There's some uh, windblown bushes, like some reeds. I think if I toss a, a chatterbait around there, I think that'll catch him. Oh, this has chatterbait written all over it, ladies and gentlemen. I know you guys are probably tired of me throwing the chatterbait, but I mean, what can I say? I'm not gonna not fish a lure if it's catching fish. All right, I actually have zero idea if there's any, even any fish in this in these ponds. This literally could just be pond. They, they may not even have fish in it. I don't know. A subscriber told me that there's fish, but we're gonna find out. Well, I'm walking around this pond. I've thrown the Senko a little bit. I've thrown the chatterbait mainly, but I mean, I'm not seeing any bass. I thought I'd see some bass swimming around. There is just nothing. I, I honestly, there could be no fish in here for all I know. Or there's two ponds. Maybe I'm fishing the one without fish. I don't, I mean, maybe I just suck. I mean, that's most likely it. Wait, is that a bass? Oh, that is a bass. Okay, hang on. Hang on, folks. There's a three pounder. As I say, there's no fish. I see a three pounder. Oh, that's a big snake. Yep. Another one. I don't know if that GoPro got the shot of that guy, but he was he was sunning himself. I'm not sure what it is. I had you guys comment in the last video, but you guys said a ton of different things. A lot of people were saying rat snakes. People were saying water moccasins. But there was a snake right there, just, just chilling. I'm gonna stay right back here. There was a bass though, so that gives me hope. All right, I'm gonna keep walking. Well, I know there's fish in here, that's good. That is good. Help me identify this. See how close I can get to it. It's a, God, that's a giant snake. It's right there, you guys see the snake? That thing's huge. What is that? I need to know what kind of snake, I need to know what kind of snake that is. That's a big snake. Someone help me. It's got the, it's like light brown, and then it's uh, it's got like black, black stripes around it or black spots. Little tiny head, giant body. Oh no, I'm leaving. Okay, that was two snakes. It didn't have a tiny head. It had a baby with it, and then there's a big one. Okay, nope, I'm out. No, 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 no. I, oh God, there's another one. Do you guys, oh, why are there so many snakes around here? I hate this place. I did not know Texas had this many freaking snakes. I didn't see a single one last year, and all of a sudden every pond I go to is just filled with them. Don't hiss at me. Look at these things. Would you, what? Look at this. Is this, is this dude gonna attack me right now? Easy. I'm just trying to walk back to my car. Just chill out over there, okay? No. No, you stay there. Quit that. Quit hissing at me. I'll hiss. I'll hiss at you. How do you like that? Huh? All right, folks. Going to pond number two. And actually, it's funny. When I said that, a subscriber showed me the other one. He showed me this one. I'm just an idiot. Went to the wrong one. This one looks 50 times juicier than the last one. I was also getting a little freaked out by those snakes because, uh, you know, not a fan. So we're going to try this one out. This one actually looks kind of muddy. Um, and the water looks really low. May or may not have fish in it. We're gonna give this a shot. And then I've got one other trick up my sleeve. This pond does not work out. I've got a, I've got a pretty fire creek that I might go try here, but hopefully we can catch some fish right here. And we're going to spot four, three, four. This is my go-to creek though. I, I'm confident there's gonna be fish here. We gotta make it happen. We have to make it happen, folks. I gotta catch fish. I can't go fishing and not catch fish. I see a bass, I see two bass actually. Let's see what they think of the old jig. The bluegill like it. Oh, he's coming for it. Got him, I got him. Oh my gosh, I got him from back here, back here. Okay, I gotta go down and get him. These other fish don't know what's going on. I caught that fish. I just totally sight fished that. Come on, get up here. He's stuck, he's stuck, he's stuck. Get over, get over. What, what is he stuck on? What is he stuck on? There. Oh no, he came off. No, no, no. You guys saw him. You guys saw him. Dude, that was like almost, that was probably pushing three and a half to four pounds. That was way bigger than I thought. 
Oh, I couldn't. That was totally me just being an idiot, but he was stuck on like some fishing line and I made him, I had him do one last jump and it, lesson learned, you don't, um, you don't let them get another jump off. Dang it, that sucks. That was, that was on a little jig. I totally sight fished that. I'm way, as you can tell, I was way up here. This water's gin clear. And, uh, and I cast over there and there's bluegills chasing it. He actually ate it once. I didn't set the hook because I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, prematurely cut or, you know, set the hook, but wow. I can't believe that, how big that fish was. That was actually like a three to four pounder. Question is, do his buddies know what happened to him? Because there was three bass with him. He was the biggest out of all of them, but there were still some decent fish with him. So the question is, do they know what happened? Are they smart enough not to bite the jig or are they gonna bite the jig anyway? Well, I just went pretty much to the other end of the creek and uh, nothing. I mean, literally, I can see, I can see everything. There's a drinking water clear. Every single fish was right where I had that first, that first bass. So. Uh, I kind of, I don't know, maybe if I can sneak up on it a little bit more. I, I don't know, I'm pretty convinced that fish can talk to each other. And that dude said, do not bite that jig. I might end up having to throw a Senko down on him and see if that helps because I'm not seeing any other fish down here. They're all in that little pocket where I had that first bite. Also, you're new to the channel, uh, the rod, the reel, the line lures that I'm using today, link down below as always. Just a quick reminder, if you're new to the channel, I always like to give you guys as many tips and provide you with all the, the equipment that I was using in today's video. So check the link in the description if you guys want any of the gear you see. Maybe even, you know, the Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. This is the uh, this is the new one. We've only got a few left, so check it out. Link's down below. I got one. Okay, don't get stuck. Oh, there you go. I caught one. I feel really bad. I just totally drug him up the, uh, up the bank. Did not want to do that. Folks, don't do that. Don't take notes on what I just did. I'm trying to stay as far away as I can because these fish are really, really skittish. I'm gonna walk down and try to put this guy back away from everybody. So I, I think I figured this out, okay? Let me explain what's going on. So here's what's going on, okay? These fish, these bass don't care about my bait. They don't, they don't wanna eat it, okay? But right now, I'm staring at a giant school of bluegill and baby bass. It's like they just spawn. I mean, there's hundreds of them. And I can see them down there. In that last cast, I cast in the middle of it and was dragging the jig and all the little bass were interested in it. And one fish came and ate it, like as if it was like, you know, being a predator towards the babies. I'm thinking that's, that's my logic behind it. I'm gonna keep casting and see what happens. Well, folks, I am back at the MCB crib. Uh, just got the little squeaker, I know, it sucked. But, you know, I got out there. The reason why I'm done fishing for the day, I mean, it's only like two o'clock right now, is we're filming a Guggen video, and it's gonna be a really exciting video, and uh, it has to do with Gary. It'll be good. So I gotta be back, I gotta, I gotta work for the squad right now, but I wanted to try to get a video out as hard as I could you know, to you guys, because, you know, I'm busy with all the group work this week, but I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys a video this week, and this was the video, fishing snake, pond hopping snake infested waters, unintentionally snake infested waters, but it was, um, it was pretty exciting stuff, I mean, I mean, I had a good time doing it, but that was the video, remember, if you want to try out Mr. Tackle Box for yourself, use code Guggen, uh, try it out, also, a, uh, I'm, I'm doing one of those eye catch tournaments, you guys remember eye catch, I've talked about it in the past, I will link everything down below, I'll put a bunch of information, so if you're interested in, if you're, if you're interested in winning $500 in prizes and uh, and fishing against me and you live in Florida or Texas or just anywhere in the United States, I'm hosting two separate tournaments, one for Florida and Texas and then a tournament for every other state. And uh, it'll all be linked down below. Just go download the iCatch app. You just type it in, you know, on the app store, download it. You'll see the tournaments that I'm hosting and uh, the links again will be down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. But uh, I'll be fishing this week, compete against me, and uh, there's also information on iCatch, like how to download it. There's YouTube videos down in the description, how to download it, how to use it, how it all works, and uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, I'll put an email link down in the description as well, support at iCatch. You can email them all your questions that you guys have. But anyways, that's enough spiel for now. If you want to win money bass fishing, check the description. You want to check out Mr. Tackle Box, check the description. And if you want to check out any of the rods, reel, line, any of the gear that I was using today, check the description. Everything will be linked down below, as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.